Welcome back to Te Awa Awa, uh, Gladstone Wairapa. We're here in the Nikau Trial Paddock uh, looking at the establishment of Sub Clover as part of the farm innovation project with beef and lamb. So year one in the Nikau Paddock we trialled clover varieties into the trial area. No spray, no special treatments, just aerial sowing to compare the three different Sub Clover varieties as to how they handle the conditions down here. These have now been um, shut up, they've done their set setting and we won't see the results until the following season. So these paddocks have come back into traditional management and have been um, uh, run with set stocked animals through them and it's not until, like I say, next year that we'll see the true results. The same's happened with the Hughes paddocks as well. So again, set seed at this time of the year, though they produced a huge amount of clover seed and uh, we're really excited as to seeing what's uh, going to come through in the following season. Quick look at, a, I guess, a, a very uh, sort of dry knob on part of the paddock and just showing the, some of the plants of the uh, arrowleaf Zulu 2 that has just come up. It wasn't perfect conditions for, for sowing the seed but we're really encouraged to see what is coming through and highlighting the rubbish grass underneath here that could potentially be smothered by the likes of this down the path once this is set seed. So remember this is season one, this is the, the, the first germination. We now shut it up from here and uh, hopefully let this flower and seed and uh, throw a whole lot of new seed into the soil. My name's Ed Harrison uh, for Baker Ag, uh, and I've been asked to do, do some of the analysis work here uh, on the trial work done at Te Awawa. I see this is a really exciting opportunity. Um, the, the goal here is to try and not grow more feed, but try and grow a higher quality feed. It's about trying to find a plant that, that best suits this environment. Uh, we don't really want to try and fight nature here. Uh, so the goal with, with a higher quality forage is hopefully to improve that stock performance through, um, through our revenue period, which is, is largely from September through to November, December. Um, so exciting to see that some of the numbers coming out and, uh, and we'll share those with you at a, at a later date. Today we're just standing up here in the new trial area of a couple of new varieties thrown into a northern face and then put into grids with different fertiliser brews to see the difference in establishment and uh, obviously what the um, results are from those, those nutrients. We have also done a strip through the middle just to basically take out any competition so we used a um, spray to allow the new growth to come through but also the existing clover in the, in the seed bank to come away. Today we have the team from On Farm Research taking measurements and just doing an update on how the trial is progressing so um, they come out uh, regularly to take uh, measurements. 25. So what we're doing is we've strung the plots out so we can know exactly where we are within a plot and then it's simply a matter of going along with the quadrat and we're placing that. It's a subjective visual score of the percentage of clover that we see in the plot. Um, and we're doing 16. 10 readings per quarter plot, uh, as of course each plot has been split with slightly different treatments. So 40 readings per plot. So we're standing in the trial area now, early October with the uh, plant now just starting to really start to flower and about to set seed. So uh, it's really cranking at the moment and uh, it's looking really exciting. We're actually seeing just as much uh, clover coming away in the control areas as we are in the new established stuff. So um, we obviously have a huge bank of clover in here. It's been a phenomenal clover season on the, the property itself. So uh, it's really exciting seeing what's coming through. We will also today take some um, samples of the herbage just so we can assess what the quality is and then through some, uh, I guess, analysis we can try and figure out how much this will potentially uh, mean that we can increase our growth and uh, ME quality across areas on the farm. The next stage of the project is to sit down with the likes of uh, Farm IQ through monitoring and just uh, recording as to what we're doing so we can hopefully show a bit of a recipe and formula as to how we've achieved what we've achieved so that guys can take this out into the field and put that into place. Um, we'll then model through Farmax and the use of Baker Ag Consultancy to I guess uh, put some actual numbers and quanti quantify things for um, farmers so that we can actually uh, take guesstimation out of it and um, put some real numbers around things.